I think the first thing is to give oxygen to underrepresented groups, give genuine space for expression and genuine space and oxygen to be able to design solutions, to provide their perspectives in approaching complex phenomena like we are living in the current times. Um, I think it is important to take into account these cultural, um, these obstacles that we have faced, these discrimination experiences that we have been through. So the numbers reveal a lack of diversity um, in the UN, including at senior management. And why is it important that we reflect on the numbers? Because the numbers tell us about the structure, a structure that to a large extent determine perspectives, frameworks, views that influence the way we work, how we interpret problems, and how we design the solutions. So us as a global south, many underrepresented groups in that structure that is dominated largely by one group, have difficulties having our voice heard. We usually are recipient instead of participants. I think it is important to recognize that if we are all included and we all participate, it's, it's only a win-win. There is no way that anyone can be um, neglected or discriminated. The more racial equity we promote a better organization we're going to have, an organization that really leads us to the principles of the UN Charter.